Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Thursday, December 12, 2013. News on tap for today is jobless claims and retail sales at 8.30 this morning. Those could have a significant impact on the market today. And import and export prices at 8.30, not so much and business inventories at 10 a.m. And that's what's on tap for today. Well, yesterday sure was an interesting day. It was very interesting. Let's take a look at what went on across the ponds. Uh, first, in a westerly direction from the U.S., we have the Asian markets, and they all were looking pretty darn bearish yesterday. And then in Europe today, where it's approximately lunchtime, we have a bearish um, market over there today also. So it's pretty interesting. I wanted you to note one other thing here. Oh, you know, I was uh, actually thinking about this myself. I would be willing to do this, ditch my cable TV, probably get uh, a double feed on my internet service and just uh, stream everything. Use one network for business and one for watching TV. Um, but the other thing I wanted to note here is uh, 10 reasons to buy Apple now. <laughs> well, it's probably a good time to buy Apple, I guess. Uh, I think that pretty much usually any time is a good time to buy Apple. I'm not exactly sure about how it's going to play out in the near future though. Um, they seem to have just kind of run out of innovation over there and they just keep improving what they have. There's nothing new coming out. All right, uh, enough about that. Let's jump over and take a look at the futures here in the U.S. We have uh, pretty much slightly negative to flat opening. I think it's searching for a direction. Gold uh, took a hit just recently. 1% uh, hit. It's been flying around pretty much. I think it... Um, Yesterday, it seemed like as though it may be starting in March towards back up to 1300, but I'm not sure about that. And then we have oil at uh, in the 97 range, which it's been for a while. So there's nothing new and or exciting there. All right, uh, let's bring up the A plus list here. Uh, yesterday. I did do a uh, SPX 10 a.m. yesterday, and I actually was in, and then I was out very quickly. So let's look at two days here. So um, I got in at 70, and that was uh, about, well, it wasn't exactly 10 a.m., it was noon. And I watched the bottom fall out of the market, and I thought, well, I'm just going to get out of this thing. So at, I think it was about 3.30 when I put my limit order in at 20, and it was trading at 30. And I actually got filled. Uh, I was very surprised. So uh, collected 70 and paid 20 for 50. So I was pretty happy with that. That ended up being, because I did two of them, that was a $100 trade. So I was pretty happy with that. At least I got something out of this week. All right. Uh, let's just jump right over into the A-plus scan. And I wanted to show you... Um, I was uh, going to jump on Apple yesterday morning. It had a nice hook here. And in the morning, if you look at an intraday chart... And we could do that here right quick. Um, this intraday chart here. This is my 78 minute chart. And in the morning it was moving up smartly. Um, this MACD here was green. 
and the stochastic was green and it was looking like as though it was going to move so I put an alert in at 571 at the time I think it was trading at like 569.80 or somewhere around there and then it, it reversed and the bottom fell out of it just like the rest of the market. So this is not a market fighting underlying right now. It's not going to do its own thing. It's going to pretty much follow the market, I would say. So I'm going to take this alert off. Just thought you would be interested in seeing that. All right, and I also added a bunch of uh, items to my A plus list. Uh, I added a bunch of underlines. Um, and I will be, I guess I didn't do that yesterday. I think I totally neglected doing that. But I'm going to itemize uh, in a blog post, and I will put the new A plus list up on my blog in the downloads page. Uh, sometime today, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, it doesn't really take very long. I just have to just do it. Maybe I'll do it after while this video is rendering. So I have new items on my A-plus list. So AGG, that's a new item. I'm not sure exactly uh, if this is a good one or not. We'll just follow it for a while. I just did a scan looking for you know, high, more liquid stocks above $100. And these are the ones that I came up with and so we do have some ETFs in more ETFs in here than we normally would so instead of hitting pause I actually hit the number nine I didn't really want to do that, but I figured that if I, if trades are going to be rare because the opportunities are going to be less, but they're going to be hopefully uh, more successful, um, that I needed to add, I needed to, you know, bump up the list. So I took some stuff off and I added some. All right, so number one, grandson just got up and I'm not sure exactly where I was. I know I was on AGG. So let's continue here. Um, we have a downtrend and we're in a new downtrend and we just had uh, we just went red on this yesterday so this may be an opportunity today uh, so I'm going to just put a little circle on this here. Let me go up to my circles here just put a little circle on this because I don't know that I'm going to do many live trades this year or not. I think I might just, uh, I don't know. With some of these new ones, HEG is a new one. Um, I just need to get a feel for how they move. I can't explain it. All right, Amazon. We are in an uptrend, and we had actually a play here, and then we did not get confirmation. So if we were in it, um, this is the first day, no confirmation because we are still red down here. Second day, um, may have gotten in on it. Um so we're in it for the first day after we trade we have a green up and a red down on the MACD looking a little shaky still green and green and then we have a red and red and we would have to get out and may have lost some money on that particular trade so it just failed sometimes that happens but at least you get out before you lose too much I don't know exactly where that would have been and I don't know if I did no I did not do a simulated trade on that alright so let's go to Boeing is an old one that I used to have on my A plus list a while back we are in an uptrend and it looks like we're gonna get a solid red down uh, a little worried about this see we're getting a lot of these rounded tops here everything is looking really toppy 
horse that looked like that a while back. I remember talking about that previously, and everything just kind of took off from there. So we'll see what happens here. We may have a setup coming up. Baidu. Uh, in an uptrend, we might be coming down here for a setup. Celgene. There may be a setup coming on Celgene. Chipotle. Uh, Chipotle looks like it's running out of gas. I think I went short on this once before recently. Um, but it's still in an uptrend and it's coming down. We'll see how it plays out. So we'll be looking for a green hook up here. Costco, a new member. Um, let's see here. They had earnings. And they didn't do too hot. And of course, uh, Wall Street didn't like it. We'll see how that one plays out. Another new one, Car or Chevron. I thought I was about to say Caremark. I think it's CRX as Caremark, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, we are flat. Not real excited about this one. I never looked at the charts yesterday either. I just slammed them into the list and thought I'd see how they work out. Um, this is EOG, which I think is an oil company, consolidated oil company. Um, new downtrend. So we would be looking for a green up and then a hook down to get in. Similar to this, although it never really got up to the 80, but could have gotten in on this one. If you want to just take a little bit more of a risk, FedEx, uh, dividend and earnings coming up. So I'm not going to touch that one. Let's just move on. Let's look at gold. There might be, uh, I think gold is a fair one to be in play here. Oh, yes, this is looking very nice. <coughs> we have, um, this isn't a green up from the 20, though. That's the only thing. I would like to see it a nice move like this one. Uh, and it didn't quite give it to us. It had an interruption here. Just a, let's see, a one day interruption. And then, it, then a continuation. So, a little bit of risk involved in that one. I'm not taking it. So I'm going to stick with uh, where I was. I think I've been hitting uh, number 9 instead of F9, which is my pause button. <laughs> so if you hear me uh, taking swigs of coffee now and again, uh, that would be why. Um, we're in an uptrend here. What? And I wanted to just kind of take a note of this. So I don't remember exactly why I put this target in here. But anyway, moving on. I'm going to delete all drawings and start fresh. Yes. A lot of these historically would work out. We'll just see how they work out now. IWM. All right, we're in an uptrend, so we would be looking for a trend reversal here, unless it's just like in the past where we come down and we just bounce off of this 50, bounce off the 50, and now we're going to bounce off the 50 again. I don't know. Let's just wait and find out. LinkedIn. Uh, this was a simulated trade here that we got in on, and let's see how it's doing. It's doing quite well. It's up to 65 bucks. Um, and it's uh, hanging in there. So we're not going to do anything on it because we don't. None of these have turned green to give us a warning. When they both turn green, then we got to get out. 
MasterCard. Um, they're going to do a split. Wall Street really liked it. Had a huge gain yesterday. I think it went up 40 bucks or something like that. So we're staying away from that puppy. 3M, new member. In an uptrend, nice slam down here. Nice straight down red, like that. But momentum dropped below zero. Have to, a word of caution about that. Marvel, this is our, um, we have a simulated uh, covered call on this using options. Netflix, um, we have a simulated trade on this. We're still green. See how it's doing. And uh, probably might want to bail on this. I was actually kind of looking at it yesterday just to see what uh, what a bail would look like here. And this was a we collected two dollars and we could uh, get out of it for thirty nine cents. But using the charts, we're still fine. We're still heading up. Even though the market had a bad day, Netflix was hanging in there pretty good. Priceline. Uh, Priceline, I'm going to delete all these. Okay, so Priceline, uh, nothing going right now. Just kind of wallowing around down in the holler there. Um, Tesla in a downtrend. We're not getting our solid color between 20 and 80 and 80 and 20 there. So nothing going on there. And last but not least, Visa must have benefited from MasterCard, I would say. So this is alertable. So we need something above this high. So I'm just going to put an alert on Visa. Add or above. So we're going to be looking for a move above here for an opportunity to get in on Visa for today. So that's our only alert. At least we have one. All right, so let's see. Just checking my notes to make sure that uh, to make sure LinkedIn. We did something on LinkedIn yesterday. Simulated. I may not have marked. Yeah, I did mark it on the chart. Okay. Yeah, we did get in on LinkedIn. I think I talked about that before. So we're good to go. It covers everything that I have in my notes from yesterday, and I will. Uh, be getting the um, uh, A plus list new one up there. I will itemize in my um, description of the uh, video for today which ones I took out, which ones I put in. You can kind of look at this list as well. All right, so uh, that's it for today. Tomorrow is Friday the 13th. But I'm not suspicious. I don't think you are either. Just play the market. So have a great day. Good luck in all your trading. And be happy when you trade.